Gospel of November the 20th, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received correspond to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the first reading, the book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. When Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel. When all the other elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. And then of the second reading from Paul to, to the Colossians, Let us give thanks to the Father, who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness, transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. In Him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For him, in he, for he, in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross. As we celebrate the solemnity of Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, there are two views that I would like to ponder with you. The first one is historical fact. The Lord Jesus of Nazareth, son of Mary, did hang on the cross and was dead there. A true human bleeding out, dying there, crucified. Yet on his cross, by pure love to the Father, he managed, first of all, to defeat once and for all the devil, he being a man, and also he slain death, and by love to the extreme he reconciled everyone, granting us forgiveness. That is true, but let me explain something that is that goes along the path and that many times we do not reflect. It is true that the presbyters, that is the, 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 the um, old men of Israel went to see King David. But King David foretold about King Jesus. Today it is our presbyters that go into Hebron. What does Hebron mean? Well, Hebron means friend and also communion. So we, as, as presbyters, gather around the Lion of Judah in heaven, in the communion. And it's beautiful. What we celebrate by the mandate of our Lord 
is what happened that day. First of all, he foretold. He took bread, gave the blessings, and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body. given up for you. Do this. And then he would take the cup, the chalice. This is the chalice of my blood that is spilled for you and many for the forgiveness of their sins. Do this in my remembrance. It is exactly what was happening right there on the cross when he defeated everyone, all the enemies of God, out of true love that was reflected in obedience. It is so beautiful. And it happens again every time that we go to the Divine Liturgy or the, Eucharist, or, or the Eucharist, as we call it. It is again not repeated, because it was done once and for all, but it is remembered, it is updated on the present time and again just as that murderer and robber hanging there with him defending him, saying to him and accepting before him that he was justly crucified and dying just begging to the Lord, Lord, remember me when you are in your kingdom. Today again, the Lord can tell you, if you repent, today you will be with me in paradise. Let us pray for each other, dear brothers. Let us pray for everyone around the world, all the chosen ones, that we might truly repent even on our last breath, and we can turn around to the Lord and tell Him, You are just in everything you have done to me. Lord, I am, I am unworthy. Please remember me in your kingdom. Until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.